guys, I'm here with uh, Nomad Cargo, Kevin. Um, Kevin is uh, nice enough to uh, help me with the uh, two oil tanks. We're down at his super fun shop, which we'll take a peek in at some point in the future. We'll but, bring the uh, tanks back. We'll be back <laughs> a little bit. Yep. Uh, what what exactly is this? Just a sneak peek of what this it's place shared, is. It's basically a shared art space. It's uh, individual workspaces that there's a lot of art and big metal sculpture that is built here. Lots of Burning Man stuff, but let's go get the uh, tanks right now. Nice. All right, here we go. Two tanks. We will come back to this next week and uh, put it all together. All right, guys, through the magic of filmmaking, a couple weeks later, I think, week and a half later, we have all the parts here, all the tools, uh, and uh, everything we need to make these two tanks. This is uh, one tank. Um, these are gonna be the, uh, the fill, the fill neck. That's gonna be where I suck out the oil um, to put it into the other tank. This is gonna be storage tank. Uh, two storage tanks, there's the other one there. So. Uh, Kevin, do you want to walk us through yeah. what exactly we're going to do today? All right, so we're making two Veggie Oil storage tanks, 14 gauge steel, PVC uh, steel, and can be cut and bent these for jobs. So this is the lower U shape, and this is the upper. So it's like a kind of like a clamshell that all gets welded with a baffle here in the center. Just that, to keep the fuel from sloshing. So it's gonna, the baffles are right here, two plates basically with a little uh, uh, pass through in the corners. So I'm actually, I'm gonna help you out too. I'm not just gonna sit and watch. So yeah. you're gonna put to, me to work on grinding the uh, yeah. edges? Some of it's had a start on it on one of these, but yeah, we're yeah. just grinding the mill scale off for TIG welding. Okay, cool. Yeah, right here. Right on. So without further ado, I guess we'll uh, get to work then. Alright. <laughs> all these with the uh, grinder with a sanding disc and uh, Kevin is about ready to uh, do a little TIG welding for our baffle so everything's been wiped down with acetone and he's got this funny looking device which I've never used before <laughs>
got the top piece aligned and tacked like three quarters of the way and the baffles welded in. So yeah, we're basically all stitched up, tacked and ready for final welding, except for this end. Just gotta line up this last end and tack it in place. Be ready to weld it out. Perfect. Close enough. Cool. And then just okay. yeah, explain what we're doing. All right, so we're making the hold down brackets that hold the tank to the support arms that bolt to the frame of the bus. So we got a total length of 13 or 32 and 5 eighths, roughly. And then we have a dimension from this mounting box to the corner, and that's 19 and 7 16. So we make a bend. And then we have two inches short here, so we're welding a bolt onto here that's gonna drop through this tube. We put a nut on the backside to suck it all down. Cool. And that'll keep the tank from going anywhere. All right, so we are at this stage, we are leak testing. Uh, we have a little Schrader valve set up into the, uh, we'll call it the drain hole. Uh, do you want to walk us through what you're about to do? Yeah, so we, we installed a port with a Schrader valve and this tank's been TIG welded and there's a possibility of some pits that might be small leaks and we're just going to pressurize it with a few pounds of pressure and go around with a spray bottle. And cool. And, and look and see if it bubbles up yeah. or something, huh? Yeah. <laughs> not seeing too much yet. Oh yeah. Around this guy. Oh, there's one right there. That's at the very top. Oh wow, yep. Yeah. So we'll mark it. All right, we're finally done with leak checks. This tank had zero pinholes after welding. And the other one had just one. One, yeah. And it was on the top side, so it probably wouldn't have been a leak.
several days later yeah. from uh, the very beginning, uh, same day as all the welding we finished. So high five, yeah, man. High five. Thank you so much, <laughs> honestly. Yeah, yeah. Thank you so it's much. Been a I really. Great job. Oh yeah. Out well, nice. One pinhole out of two tanks. That's all this guy's skill right yeah. here. So if you're in the Portland area, hit up Nomad Cargo. Uh, Supreme Welder on, on YouTube, Supreme Welder on Instagram. I'll also put your contact information yeah. if you want, yeah, uh, sounds great. email or cell phone, whatever you want, yeah. uh, down below. Um, but uh, yeah, so his ambition is to be mobile and uh, get rid of the the rent situation. Yeah, the so shop we're seeing behind us. <laughs> <laughs> the um, rent that comes with it. You want to start doing roof raises, right? Uh, it's one thing. There's a lot of fabrication work on buses. And True, yeah, no roof racks, uh, roof raises, uh, interior welding, things like that. So um, he will be mobile shortly. But uh, yeah, look, this thing fits, both these things fill up the whole back end of the pickup truck. It's a good thing I got the pickup truck today. Yeah, yeah. So um, brackets, all that stuff. So we are officially done with the video. Other so than, uh, install. Right, well, I'm not gonna, I don't know if I'll do an install for anyone unless oh, you wanna come over. <laughs> That's gonna be a pain in the butt. So, uh, anyways, dude, thank you so much again. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. Thanks for thanks for hooking me up. Yeah. Well, thanks for hooking me up. Yeah. And also, uh, I'll come back over anytime you want and teach you how to edit. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> Gotta do the videos. Yeah. <laughs>